had a decent pay rise in at least 12 years. Um, our pay has gone down by 20% overall. And we just can't deal with it anymore. We, we, we can't, people can't cope with that loss of money. We've got members using food banks. Um, we've got members struggling to pay energy bills. And on top of that, we've got a sector that's made billions over the last few years. And staff have seen absolutely not one penny of that in their pay. Because we were offered an absolutely paltry uh, pay offer, uh, we didn't get any uh, any increase the year before last. Last year we got 1% pay rise, which with all the rising costs of energy, with all the rising costs of food, fuel, everything, um, it's, it's make meaning that we're poorer uh, day after day. We're fighting for better pay uh, because uh, we didn't have really pay, pay rise for many years and uh, the cost of living is uh, high. Uh, getting higher even after COVID and all this, you know, it's not really easy to to pay for bills and everything else. I don't want to be on strike. I don't want to be stood in the rain. I don't want to be... It's a complete last resort. I feel like this is the only thing that the university will listen to. I mean, my message to Simone and to the university leadership here is push the national organisation to get back round the negotiation table, to make a fair settlement for all of your staff on all grades, to do something about casualisation. I know today's not about pensions, but to do something about pensions. The first dispute that I came to was about pensions. It's now about everything. It's now about everything. 